Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. Today we're taking a look at the Cecilia again. I'm back, and I'm here to say I might have been wrong about this ship. Although, I think with good reason I was frustrated with this ship when it initially came out, since I wasn't getting very good consistent salvos out of it, and random battles was in a bit of a rough state. It still is, let's be honest here, with this submarine buff, as well as the uh, carriers that have come into the game, the uh, support carriers, there's just a lot of crap that you gotta deal with in randoms that just isn't very good for a ship that wants to push in and brawl. Cecilia is at its best at close range. So we now have Airship Escort back, just for a little bit. I'm pretty disappointed that they only had it for the last two weeks of this patch, but hopefully they'll bring it back for longer periods of time, as this game mode is a ton of fun when it's in its own queue. It's really, really solid here. And for a Cecilia, we're gonna have a great time. So this ship has some very special things to it. Sap secondaries, not a lot of ships have that, as well as some pretty insane turret angles here, 22 degree turret angles, when you're outside of seven kilometers. If you're wondering about the bug that I was talking about where these turrets look like they can't shoot, but they still can, at least down to seven kilometers, well, I haven't heard anything back from Wargaming on that. Saw someone on Reddit found that the French DDs or some of the French DDs also have that issue. So it seems to be a bit of an issue with the game itself and not just with this ship. So unlikely that we're going to see any sort of change because we just don't get changes like that. Any little fixes, they just don't seem to happen very quickly, unfortunately. But salvos like this are make or break salvos when it comes to a ship for me. And I wasn't getting salvos like that out of Cecilia before. <laughs> Just a full health dev strike to start things off here in the Cecilia. Now, I know it can be RNG based, but that close range, flat broadside, I mean, if you can't even hit that consistently or somewhat consistently, I'm not going to have a good time with this ship. I'm not going to say it's a good ship. And that's what happened earlier, I think. And now that I've played it a little bit more here and there, off and on, as the weeks have progressed since uh, this ship came out. I've had a few more of those salvos and a few less of just the obvious misses. They still happen. They definitely still happen, trust me. Uh, but we're not having them nearly as often. And I'm certainly having more opportunities to push in and brawl thanks to Airship Escort. So I'm actually kind of enjoying Cecilia now. Never thought I would say that, especially so soon. But I think this game mode is certainly doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. Uh, airship Escort is just so good for these brawling battleships. And having this smoke here allows us to cross gaps that might otherwise be dangerous. Also to delay the enemy's blimp while we're in the zone here. It's great. I mean, look at that dispersion, man. We hit him with basically everything. He was dead before all the shells hit. <laughs> like, this is not the Cecilia I was playing a few weeks ago when it released. Uh, these sub secondaries, of course, are going to do some okay damage. Uh, they don't have any sort of improved accuracy, so they're not that good. But I'm still running them because it's fun. And uh, we actually get some pretty solid damage out of them here. Just because we're so close to people, I think. They also all pin 32 millimeters of armor, so anytime we're up against battleships, we're going to be doing some decent damage when we hit. Angle GK takes 20k to the superstructure. Now that's nothing new, of course. GKs tend to take 20k to the superstructure, no matter the angle. But for a Cecilia, I was pretty impressed with that salvo. Uh, especially how things have been going with this ship. Back to back, good salvos like that. Or back to back to back, I guess, you know, for counting that Des Moines into the Gudin into the GK. And now this Baji here also eats 20k. Like, what is this ship, man? This is not the ship I was playing before. <laughs> Quickly already up to 150k. Uh, had to give our Columbo there a quick compliment for pushing up with us, trading HP like this. Solo is not the easiest thing in the world, so having another battleship up here to take point while you heal is very, very good. Uh, typically, not going to go so well in randoms or without teammates you can rely on, but it can happen sometimes. If you're in divs, of course, that's going to work out much better, but uh, thank you very much to this Columbo for doing that. Now back to hitting good salvos, there's 26k into a GK. I mean, sure, it's a GK, it, it just eats damage, no matter the angle, but still, that's a lot of consistent salvos in a row, and that's what makes a ship or breaks a ship to me. Uh, even if it is something that does have to deal with dispersion every once in a while. 
if I can get some sort of consistency out of this ship, I'm going to like it more. Even if it does have a few dud salvos here and there. Now that he's flat broadside, we only do 11k. It's fine, because we're mostly relying on these guns, and they can actually do some work for us. I don't need it to be 100% consistent, I just need most of the time the guns to do reliable damage, is the idea here. Already up to 200,000 damage, feels pretty good. Now we just need 20k to finish this guy off. Notice these turn angles helping us out a ton here. Staying angled allows us to tank a lot. And we do it! Another 18k, and he's done. That's our fourth kill in this one. Now, we're very low HP here, but Slava doesn't have that many guns, and uh, they do pretty low alpha damage, so I'm kind of risking here by not just popping my smoke. But since he's so broadside, I'd love to get another shot into him here. <laughs> a little bit risky. But at these ranges, we certainly can use these guns at a pretty sharp angle. Decent dispersion again, and uh, we do find ourselves hitting another <laughs> Citadel for 22,000 damage. And this is with secondary mod, by the way, just so you know. Uh, a lot of these games happened where I'm just running full secondaries, except for the uh, main gun reload. I'm still taking main gun reload in the sixth slot, but uh, this uh, secondary range and accuracy is buffed as much as I can possibly make it. And again, we live the bow on Slava Salvo. That's not always going to happen. Cecilia, Colombo, they do take some damage to their superstructure as well. But Slava just lacks the volume of fire and the alpha damage, so I kind of risked it. But now we got to use the smoke, which is a massive benefit to this ship. 60 seconds of immunity, essentially, uh, while you're in here. And uh, that allows you to get through some heals. Again, another Citadel there. Sure, it's close range, but there were some close range salvos that were just entirely whiffing earlier with this ship. So I'm really liking the feel of this thing now. That is our Kraken at this point. Not going to get that award in Airship Escort, but still. Feels good. Even getting the submarine at the end here for our sixth kill and 266,000 damage. Did not think a game like this was possible for the Cecilia, and yet here we are. Don't worry, we'll take a look at the builds a little bit later. And I certainly have tried the accuracy build as well, but I've just found myself, instead of trying to optimize it fully, I just want to run some fun builds. Crazy base XP there, and nearly 50,000 damage out of our secondaries. Not a great hit ratio there. 828 secondaries fired, only 162 hits, but that's still 50k damage we got out of them. That is pretty decent. Now moving on, another airship escort game here, and it's really these closer range matches where the Cecilia can shine. I really do want to emphasize that, that this game mode is allowing this ship to perform so well, or just well in general. Maybe not like the best battleship in the game well, but... Uh, Perform decently well. There's a nice 20k hit to our superstructure. It can happen, trust me. Now pushing in here obviously is not a great idea. Uh, we're gonna die rather quickly, but this is a wonderful use of the smoke screen. If you know there's not going to be a radar around you, well, you can push rather aggressively here. Just make sure you wait on your smoke until your um, bloom from firing is, uh, is reduced, right? Or is reset. So we have to wait another five or so seconds since uh, it's a 20 second cooldown after you fire, that your concealment has increased. And now that I'm stuck in this bad position, the Vampire 2 has smoked up to obviously start to try and farm us. Well, he can't now that we're undetected. It's great, man. It's a great utility for these close range engagements. So that's a problem. It needs to be close range engagements. Random battles does not allow for that these days, let's be honest. And I think that's where a lot of the struggles came from too. It's just that everything is so passive, and this ship can't really deal with that all that well. Certainly worse than a Columbo, because we don't even have sap on the main guns, which is a pretty broken ammo type, and even with 16 not very accurate guns, you're still going to do some decent damage out of a Columbo at ranges, where Cecilia has some pretty anemic HE. You can see me in this match using it a little bit, and it doesn't do too well. Its damage is just okay. And uh, the fire chance is kind of laughably bad. It's like 27% fire chance or something very low like that. Uh, probably in an effort to not make this an HE spammer, I guess, but might have gone a little overboard on that. <laughs> uh, Vincent as well as Incomp go down. And then that's this, this fine cleaned up, right? Maybe we were a bit of bait there. I don't know. Like you can kind of push in and people think you're going to die and you're an easy kill. And then you get to use this smoke screen to just disappear and... Suddenly they're out of position, they're mispositioned. I'm not sure. 
But uh, it certainly is nice to have this airship escort game mode back. I so hope that Wargaming uh, makes it available again next update or maybe rotates through airship escort and uh, asymmetric battles for those that love that game mode. Maybe every other patch, we just have that as its own separate game mode for the full patch this time. Maybe not just the end two weeks, right? That'd be nice for me. And then, boom, <laughs> just 40K into a Schlieffen. <laughs> right, like, these salvos weren't happening. I'm not going crazy here, I don't think. These salvos were just not happening when I initially got this ship. I don't know what's changed, but I'll take it, man. Broadside Worcester goes dark. This is a blind shot, guys. This is a blind shot, okay? This is unlocked dispersion with 16 Italian guns. And we triple Citadel him for like 40k damage. <laughs> like, that's just not what this ship did for me, like at all. I tried it a lot, I promise you. For like a week when I got this ship, I tried basically every day to make it work. And it just wouldn't, and that's why I was so negative about it. And uh, now it's now it's working a bit for me, so I have to update this uh, this on the YouTube channel. The turret angles are still a problem here, certainly, as you can see, 6.9 ish kilometers, and can't fire those rear turrets until we give like 48 degrees of angle, which is not great when you're uh, trying to shoot a Shimakaze at closer ranges. Fortunately, we will be able to get out of the way of those torpedoes, but. Imagine that's a battleship salvo, or a bit closer range DD torp salvo. <laughs> it's pretty rough. At least Colombo doesn't have to worry about that. Um, so for this ship, you really do, like the strategy for it is be within secondary range, but not so close that you can't shoot your guns or your rear guns at a reasonable angle. So the idea is play between 11 and 7 kilometers. That's really what this ship wants. And then you're going to do reasonably well, uh, I think. It's not going to be... Uh, insanely OP, I don't think, but it's going to do all right, I think, with this thing. Now, I do have the HE here, and you're going to see it perform pretty poorly against this Monty. Honestly, I think the AP might have done even better, but this is a situation where SAP would have just been amazing uh, against this angled Montana here. You hit upper belt, you hit superstructure, and the Columbo SAP is going to work wonders, where this ship just doesn't have access to that. Although the secondaries, you can see, are pouring in some damage every once in a while when you get a hit on the superstructure or a portion of the uh, belt armor or the bow stern armor you can actually pen. You can see there's like 3,000 damage hits every once in a while, 600 here and there when the smaller guns hit. 2,000 there out of secondaries. Uh, only 3,000 out of our main guns. <laughs> yeah, the HE is not great. Uh, but hey, those secondaries doing a little bit of work here, and uh, we're really trying to focus out this Montana here. You see how people are just pushing in? See how you can get into secondary range easier? Like, this is barely five minutes into this match. This is just not how random battles work. So if you're looking at Cecilia, if you're thinking, wow, this ship looks amazing from this video, remember it's airship escort, okay? You can't expect this to work out in random battles. Not at all. Okay, there's a little more respectable. 9th K out of the HE there. Taking very little in return from the Montana, using propulsion mod combined with this pretty amazing turret angles that we're able to use here to uh, avoid a lot of that incoming damage. If they hit our superstructure though, that that can hurt still, even at this angle. But if you can use propulsion mod to uh, just get them to miss your superstructure, it can do reasonably well at this sort of tanking. Monty taken out, and uh, with that, we kind of have a free path for our airship to uh, get into the zone and should win this game. Atatara forced to push in. That's another thing, you're just forced to push in in this game mode, and uh, we do manage to reverse and take him out there. A uh, bit of an issue, though. I've mentioned the turret angles, and I'm going to do it again. Uh, against a GK at four kilometers. Yeah, <laughs> we have to give a lot of broadside to actually hit this guy. Not this much, but... Uh, we certainly have to give that 48 degrees. And we get 22k there. That's fine, right? Like, that's not anything like that impressive, but it's it's fine enough, I guess. Uh, but now that we're angling back in at these ranges, can't shoot our rear guns. <laughs> it is a little bit awkward, I'm not going to lie. But at least we have some teammates helping us out, and his GK is going to be low enough that our front guns should finish him off. Well, that's some pretty nice games out of Airship Escort. And I have had some decent matches in random battles as well, but they're much 
fewer, uh, much harder to get, and uh, there's a lot of bad matches in between these as well. So we got a Brisbane pushing here, pretty far range on this one, and eh, may as well just take a shot. That's a very large Citadel hit there to get, and uh, well, even with this dispersion, we should do okay. And we'll take basically uh, basically a dev strike, not quite, I guess. Not enough to get the award there, but still, pretty nice hit. Moving on, Thunderer pushing in at these ranges. It should be dead Thunderer, I think. Especially given that dispersion. Wow, look at those front guns. Only one sit, but still, that's really, really good damage. I'm not uh, not gonna complain about that. And you notice a 10 minute mark here, right? This is this is the thing. It's not as qu easy. It's not as quick to actually get to these closer range brawling scenarios. And this game in particular is certainly a blowout. But still, it can work in randoms. Don't get me wrong. It can work in randoms. It's just hard. It's just much much harder. Uh, so. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what this ship is. I'm a little worried that I've just been treated well the last few times I've taken this ship out in Airship Escort, and then I had these few random battle decent games here that I can attach on to the end of this video, and maybe maybe it's tricking me right now. I'm a little worried <laughs> that I'm going to put out a video praising this ship, and then it's instantly going to treat me poorly again uh, just because I said nice things about it. I mean, look at that dispersion, man. Like... That's a, that's a good dispersion. There's a crack in nearly 200k in this game, you know? Take out the carrier as well. Feels good. Um, but I do need to highlight that bad salvos still exist, okay? Broadside Ohio. Given how this video's been going, you'd expect quite a bit. That's some pretty nice flat dispersion there, too. Looks reasonably tight. 7,500 damage. Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. And this one is with accuracy upgrade. Notice we actually aren't within secondary range yet of this Ohio until we get to around 10 kilometers. The uh, full range, if you're taking the full build for secondary range, is 11.3 kilometers. Broadside Annapolis, though, and uh, that's a little further ranges. Maybe we can get something here. And, I mean, that looks like pretty nice dispersion. Yeah, 50k. <laughs> so there's possibilities here, okay? It's not every salvo is bad, all right? Even when I was having some of those more frustrating ones. It's not like every salvo is going to be bad, but it just feels a little too random at those mid-ranges, especially in random battles. Um, although, it's been treating me well the last week or so that I've been playing Airship Escort here, so maybe if you can, play it in Airship Escort only, and then uh, retire the Sicilia to port until Airship Escort comes back. That might be a play. That might be the way to play this ship. Uh, that might be how I end up playing this ship as well. It, is only airship escort for this thing. That might be the way to actually have a good time in it. I don't know. But uh, okay damage-ish into Ohio here. You know, it's not bad. I am lucky that my teammates are helping me here. Kind of disappointing there into the bow section. At those angles, I would be hoping for maybe a, a bow citadel there on the Ohio, perhaps. One last salvo into Annapolis. Can we finish him? And no, four overpants. Although, we had a pretty nuts salvo on him earlier, so I shouldn't complain too much. So that's about it for the games that I have to show you guys. Now, uh, for the build that I've been running recently, uh, looks like this. Uh, we are running secondaries, we're running turret traverse, as well as gun feeder. With Cincinnati, it's very useful to be able to swap. Even when the HE is kind of anemic on this ship, uh, it's still nice to have for those DDs at closer range or something like that. Emergency repair expert, because having five heals is nice. And when you're pushing in, you're probably going to die before you get to 2 million potential damage. Uh, so we'd rather have the guaranteed 5 heals, is kind of how I'm looking at it for now. Concealment Expert helps us get in a little bit quicker without being spotted. And of course, Adrenaline Rush is so good. And these are the upgrades here. Kind of split focus, I guess. Main battery mod here, and then secondary mod here. <laughs> But that's what I've been running in Airship Escort, and it's been doing reasonably well. I've been rather surprised, uh, and so that's where this video comes from with this thing. I don't know. It's it's working well for me right now. Uh, so it might be worth picking up if you're interested in this playstyle, but keep in mind, there's a lot of RNG when it comes to these guns, and it's really best played in Airship Escort. So. As you can see here, seven days left only on this one, and then it's probably going to be gone for a long time, knowing uh, 
knowing how things typically go, if you're having fun with something, it's not going to be around for very long. <laughs> okay, that might have been a little too far. That's a joke. Uh, but that is going to do it for Cecilia. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.